Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days. Welcome to some pretty exciting news. Uh, I want to give a thanks to Ian Thompson who uh, told me about this. There was a few of you actually that sent me this information on Twitter. But it is the proposed WWE Network changes and I'm pretty excited about them. Um, having gone through and seen what they're looking to do. Uh, so excited I went out and I just cut my hair off at the sides of my head. Um, I didn't, I did that first. But, doesn't matter, uh, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the breakdown of the new WWE proposals. So, yeah, how's about that? Looks like I know what I'm doing when really I haven't got a clue. Uh, <laughs> but, right, let's go through what they're uh, proposing. So there's going to be a new free option, which is really cool for like the casual fans out there. Uh, this is going to have clips. It'll allow you to choose five hours of content that you want to watch it will have the channel that's obviously going to be the main cell uh, I should imagine that will carry things like holy foley and ride along and you know unfiltered and all of those kind of shows uh, there'll probably be a bit of wrestling on there as well maybe main event uh, this week uh, superstars i'd imagine it'll be stuff along those lines there won't be any pay-per-views though that's the downside full of commercials it'll work on all devices but it is free think that's pretty exciting next up 4.99 uh 4.99 a month this is only going to work on phones and tablets which is a little weird uh it'll have limited commercials um but it'll have the clips uh it'll have full archive uh, access the 24 7 live stream pre-recorded nxt makes me think this is going to be like a few weeks behind you know like they are with raw and smackdown at the moment um but the big four pay-per-views royal rumble wrestlemania SummerSlam, survivor series will be available to those people that choose the 4.99 package now i'm guessing this is for people on the go i would imagine um or maybe like I don't know. I, I don't. I'm. I'm struggling with that 4.99 one because I, I can't tell who it's aimed at. Um, maybe like the super casual fan. <laughs> I don't know. Is there such a thing as a super casual? Um, so yeah, not sure about that one. 9.99 anyway. And this is largely what we have now. It's going to have the clips. Uh, on there, it's going to have uh, all the pay-per-views, NXT, NXT takeovers, the video archive, uh, the 24-7 channel, uh, limited commercials. The one that stuck out to me, the new CWC. Now, I know they're going to do a women's one next year, and I know they will do a CWC next summer. But um, I don't know, are they referencing that or are they going to start like a new weekly cruiserweight show? I don't I don't think that's what it's talking about. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just a little bit kind of puzzled by what that is. We don't know when this was all proposed. It could have been whilst the CWC was on. So they could just be referring to the Cruiserweight Classic that's been and gone. Um, but yeah, the 9.99 package looks largely the same as what we have now. But the one I'm excited for... The fourteen ninety nine package. This has got everything that the nine ninety nine package has, but it's going to have indie content. This is where they're going to put that TNA video library. Now I know that deal's not confirmed yet, but it's just a matter of time. That's all I'm reading, and you know, all I'm hearing is that it's it's pretty much a done deal. They've just got to go through the fine print, sign the dotted line, and now they're even telling us where it's going to sit on the network. Um, but not only that, Ring of Honor, that is huge. That is huge. That is huge for Ring of Honor, but it's brilliant for wrestling fans. Ring of Honor is the king of the indies, and this is where a lot of WWE uh, superstars kind of make their name before they get to, say, NXT. Um, this is This really is big news. You know, I mean, Ring of Honor had uh, Daniel Bryan, it had Seth Rollins, it had Samoa Joe, um, Sami Zayn, it had loads, loads have come through Ring of Honor. I always keep an eye out on who their champions are and, you know, who's making a name for themselves in Ring of Honor because chances are you will see them in WWE eventually. 
the fact now that WWE are thinking of bringing them onto the network, it blows my mind because they're not connected to WWE. It's a completely separate promotion. So I don't know what kind of deals they're cutting at the moment. I don't even care. I'm just really excited um, that I might be able to watch some Ring of Honor through the network. No commercials. Other things as well, uh, early ticket access, Hall of Fame voting. Clearly someone's been watching the Wrestling Days channel at WWE. Like what we've been doing with the Wrestling Days Hall of Fame and the voting in, um, which you guys have been able to do on the, the Twitter, Wrestling Days Twitter. So now WWE are going to do it. So got to get the Bulldog in. That's what we need to do. We need to get the Bulldog in. We need to get Owen Hart in. We need to get China in. Well, I, I will start campaigns when this launches to get certain wrestlers in. Um, offline content as well, so you'll be able to download stuff and enjoy it on train journeys or where you get bad reception. Small group chats as well, so you'll be able to jump on, have a chat with your friends. I don't know if that's like audio or if you type it or well, how it works, but uh, I mean, it's cool, isn't it? Something we don't have now. And then invites to VIP meet and greets. So again, no detail on this, but I should imagine it means if they're in the area and you, you pay your $14.99 monthly subscription, then that's going to entitle you to go along to the show. And if you've got tickets for that show, meet you know someone beforehand like Sasha Banks or Dean Ambrose or, you know, fandango i don't know um but yeah it's uh, again it's an interesting development i am all over that 14.99 one um i'd like i'd like to spend more wwe if someone from wwe is watching this which i have no idea why they would because i'm an idiot but if they were i would happily spend 25 right i'd want some up for my money but maybe it's like, you know, you get like a free t-shirt a month or maybe you get free tickets a year or something. We'll give you two free tickets a year if you sign up to a £25 a month, 12-month subscription. Yeah, fine, done. And I get my meet and greet and I get that Ring of Honor content and so on, so on, so on. I don't know, free figure or something, I don't know. But it's like, yeah, I'm proper on board with it. I'm, I'm, you know, I like the fact they're exploring these things. Um, it's exciting. I'm, I'm on board. I'd love to know your thoughts, though. Do you think that this is a great idea? Are you on board with it like I am? Or do you think this is the beginning of the end? Do you think we'll turn around soon? It'll be like £100 a month and you get one episode of Unfiltered. Oh, could you imagine that? Be awful. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, it'd be really cool if you would. And, uh, yeah, I think that was everything. Um, let me know your thoughts. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.